everyone, this is Blessed and Saved. I want to share with you um, some things that happened to me in the past. Um, about a year ago, maybe nine months, I was having dreams and visions. Um, they've stopped somewhat, but today I feel led to uh, share some of these things with you. Um, for the most part, I believe they're warnings from the Lord. Um, on three different occasions, I had dreams about lions. Um, they weren't lions like you would consider majestic, like you would think of the Lion of Judah and Jesus Christ. These lions were like the description of Satan is a prowling lion, lion seeking to see who he can destroy. I'm paraphrasing, but that's the gist of the, the scripture. Um, these were those lions. And so three different dreams. And they were fairly close together. So I took this as a warning sign from the Lord that... Satan is definitely on the prowl, seeking to destroy his children. And in the dreams, the lions never really got me. I was always able to find a way just out of their reach. Although one dream, um, I was vulnerable mm -hmm. and... The lion was actually starting to chew on my head. Uh, it was very graphic. It was very real. But I woke up instantly as soon as that started. Um, and I, like I said, I think it was some sort of a warning from the Lord for me to prepare myself for the days ahead, for me to warn others. Um, and it was shortly after I had those dreams, I was uh, laying in bed one, one night, and just before I fell asleep, I had a flash vision, and it was three... It was pitch black, and then in the middle of the pitch black was three flaming sixes. And it just went very quickly, but it lasted maybe a second or two, and then it went away. And then I heard in my spirit, He is coming. Time's up, basically. Um, these are the days that we're living in. We're living in times where we as Christians are going to be tried and tested. And the devil is going about as a lying lion, sorry, seeking whom he can destroy. Um, but we have Jesus Christ. We have his blood. We are covered in his blood. We have power in just saying his name. We have authority over evil. If, if I ever feel this threatening spirit around me, I say, in the name of Jesus Christ, I rebuke you evil, and I say it with authority. Whatever I feel is attacking me, I say that over and over, and I say, Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior, in Him do I put my trust. And I find that that helps me immensely. There 
was another time I also had a vision. It wasn't a dream, it was a vision, because these come quickly um, without warning. It just comes and, and it's happening and you know that you're not asleep, but it's real. my head, it was like a tingling sensation, and uh, I got a picture of my head of a, a golden crown of sorts, and um, I just felt so much at peace, and uh, it, was, it was the most wonderful feeling in the world, just feeling like I was in the presence of, of somebody can't describe the feeling I had. It was like I was in another dimension. I wasn't on the earth. And this, this crown um, started to like disperse in the air. And it was a bunch of little lights. And they were kind of just going up. His blood that he shed on the cross. I love this picture of Jesus knocking at the door because it reminds me that he is always there. Even when we are on the other side of that door thinking that we're alone and that the, the lion is, is chasing us, he is there. He's always there. He's with us. He's in us. He's surrounding us constantly in his love and his light. This is getting to be a long video, so I want to wrap it up with reading Revelation chapter 3, verse 5. He that overcometh, he that overcometh, the same shall be clothed in white raiment, and I will not blot out his name out of the book of life, but I will confess his name before my Father and before his angels. He that hath in, this is verse 6, I'm going to read through up to verse 11. 
He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. And to the angel of the church in Philadelphia, write, These things saith he that is holy, he that is true, he that hath the key of David, he that openeth, and no man shutteth, and shutteth, and no man openeth. I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it. For thou hast a little strength, and hast kept my word, and hast not denied my name. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which they say they are Jews, and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet, and to know that I have loved thee, because thou hast kept the word of my patience. I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world, so, to try them that dwell upon the earth. Behold, I come quickly, hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. God bless each and every one of you. Sorry it's so long. Take care.